Welcome back math experts, this is Miss Sam and today we're going to learn everything about how to represent decimals with models. You have from now until April 15 to comment and share and each time you share and comment is a ticket for you to be able to win this amazing book with 5,000 awesome facts. I don't know if you can see them but it has a bunch of good information. What do you see here? We have two models and as you can see, they have the same size, but they're cut in different ways. Can you estimate this hole is cut in how many parts? If you said 100, you are correct. And what about this one? Yes, this hole is cut in 10 parts. So if you want to imagine this will be like one dollar and each one of these ones is one penny, there's 100 pennies in one dollar and this one, since it's only 10 parts, each part will represent a dime. So now let's write decimal numbers. If I color one of these, dun, 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 this will be zero because the hole is not complete zero tens, one ten is one of these, and one hundred. Each one of these is one hundred. Now, if I color two, is two hundreds. If I color three, you're right, three hundreds, and then four, five, six, so on, so on, so on. But what happens when you color the first 10. Now you have 10 hundredths, but you also have one tenth. As you can see, these are equivalent. So this will be zero because we don't have a whole, but we have one tenth. And here we have 10 hundredths. One tenth is equivalent to ten hundredths. Now let's add some hundredths. This will be eleven hundredths, twelve hundredths, how much is this? Fifteen hundredths. Let's keep going. This will be 18 hundredths. Isn't it easy? But if I add two more, what do we have? 20 hundredths. And, and 20 hundredths will be equivalent to what? I will have to follow the whole thing. And these are two tenths. 20 hundredths. 20 of the little hundreds is equivalent to two tenths. So now, now let's go a little bit faster. Can you tell me how many hundreds did I color? If you said 40 hundreds, you're right. And now how many tenths? If you said four tenths, you are also correct. 40 hundreds is equivalent to four tenths. So now a little bit extra challenge. How many pennies will this be? 40 pennies. And how many dimes will this be? Four dimes. I hope that you're seeing the relationship of how the tens are equivalent to the hundreds. Oh, let's go a little bit further. 50 hundreds is equivalent to 5 tenths. 60 hundreds is equivalent to 6 tenths. Um, 80 hundreds is equivalent to 8 tenths. Now let's complete the whole whole. One hundred hundreds is equivalent to one whole, and 
10 tenths is equivalent also to one whole. So now let's do beyond one whole. I'm going to use a combination of these four to create the different decimal numbers. So let's start. I'm gonna one tenth, two tenths, and then I'm gonna add some hundreds. Do we have one whole? No, so we're gonna do our place value charts. We have the ones, decimal, th and if you, if you have seen other of my videos this is a trick to know how to do your decimal place value chart we have the word tens and we have the word hundreds well both of them have the letter th so you have your ones tens and hundreds th decimal th got it so now do we have a whole no so it's zero and how many tens do we have? We have two tens and four hundreds. So it's 24 hundreds. This will be equivalent to 10, like 10, 20, and four, 24 hundreds. Next number. Let's continue. If I add, What do I have here? I have 10, 20, 30, 40 hundreds. So it's 0 0.40 hundreds. Let's add some more tens and hundreds. 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67 hundreds. We're getting closer to one hole. We had 67, 77, 87, 97. Why? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 97. This is 97 hundreds. Can you tell me how many more hundreds do we need to get to one hole? If you said three, yes, you're 100% right. Let's add three more. And if, so if we add them, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 hundreds, which is equivalent to one hole. Now let's do the last one. I'm going to add a couple hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is one hole and seven hundreds. You write one hole. Do I write here the seven? No, because that will be one hole and seven tenths. How do you write one hole and seven hundreds? Well, it's one hole and seven hundreds hundreds as simple as that so now we have a math challenge for you before the math challenge i want to give a big shout out to lillian that sent this amazing drawing for the creative challenge drawing is way better than mine she even added i don't know if you can see there she added a squirrel that is unbelievably unbelievably good It's your turn. I want you to tell me the value of these two models. So on the top, you write the tens, and on the bottom, you write the hundreds. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.